Racing the Planet is an organizer of off-trail and rough country endurance foot races, including the four desserts. The company also operates an outdoor product store and a dried foods company. History, 2002-2008, in 2007, Racing the Planet became a case study for the Harvard Business School and is one of the few case studies to be repeated yearly. 2008-2009 in 2009 Racing the Planet launched an online retail store specializing in selling the outdoor apparel, equipment and nutritional products required for endurance racing. By 2010 the store had grown to stock a much larger variety of products for all outdoors pursuits. Later in the year, the outdoor store became the largest online outdoor gear store in Asia and had distribution hubs in Hong Kong and the United Kingdom allowing global distribution. 2010 to 2011, in 2010 a record nine competitors completed the Four Deserts Grand Slam, including three women who are the first to have achieved the feat, Samantha Gash of Australia, Lucy Rivers Buckley and Linda Quirk. A Shanghai-based competitor died of heat stroke after competing in the 2010 Gobi March. His brother claimed racing the planet was reckless, and ill-prepared. 2010 also saw the first 100 km race organized by the company, though which took place in the desert around Hotan in China's South Xinjiang province. In 2010 Ryan Sands of South Africa was crowned Four Deserts champion having won all four of the races he competed in, and Margie Anna Pelizer of Croatia was crowned women's champion. On September 2, 2011, at the 100 km event in the Kimberley, Western Australia, Turia Pitt, 24, and Kate Sanderson, 35 were left with severe burn injuries when fire swept through a rocky gorge during the outback race. Two men, Michael Hull and Martin van der Meerwell, suffered less serious burns. Racing the Planet has not compensated the victims or contributed to their medical treatment, including to Ms. Pitt whose expenses exceed $2 million. In November 2012, the government of Western Australia made ex gratia payments of $450,000 to each of the women. Originally launched in English, in 2011 the outdoor store expanded capability to include traditional and simplified Chinese, as well as French, Spanish and Italian. List of events, Racing the Planet has currently organized 34 races in total. The events are split into two categories, but with all of them sharing certain characteristics. Those characteristics are that each race is held in a remote but historically or culturally rich location. That the race is a rough country that is they take place in wilderness environments across a variety of terrains, mostly off-trail. That competitors must race self-supported carrying all their own food, fluids and equipment for the race. And that the number of competitors accepted on each race is limited to ensure that the pristine environments remain that way, and so that competitors do not feel that they are part of so large a group that they do not get the opportunity to experience the solitude of the location. There is no prize money at any of the events, but those who successfully complete the race are presented with a medal at the finish line. The current categories of races include, Four Deserts, Racing the Planet, Merchandise. Since 2004, Racing the Planet has developed a number of their own products and merchandise for use in endurance racing. In 2009, it launched an online retail store, The Outdoor Store, which sells equipment, clothing footwear and nutrition products for the sport. Corporate information, the CEO is Mary Kay Gadams, who is also the company's founder. Racing the Planet is headquartered in Hong Kong where they also have a showroom for the outdoor store. There is a second distribution center and office in Yorkshire in the United Kingdom, which also has a showroom. There are 16 country managers who represent the company in Belgium, Brazil, Chile, China, Denmark, France. Germany, India, Italy, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Mexico, South Africa, Taiwan and Spain. Charitable causes, about half of the competitors at Racing the Planet events are supporting charitable causes through their participation. Racing the Planet puts no limits on the type of causes that are supported. Because of the remote locations of many of the races Racing the Planet choose to support a specific charity at almost every event that provides support to the local community in which the event takes place. The company has a long-running partnership with Operation Smile, 
and has raised over US$500,000 for the charity for projects in Vietnam, China and Egypt, often funding missions and surgeries in the local communities through which competitors race. The company has donated books and sports equipments to schools in Xinjiang province where the Gobi March is held through the Eskawayal Yang Education Fund who they have also supported for a number of years. In 2008, the Gobi March took place just one month after the devastating earthquake in Sichuan province on May 12, so that year Racing the Planet put together a special auction in which friends and families of competitors could bid to buy a hot shower for three competitors at the end of the 90 km stage 5 of the event. The auction raised almost US$30,000 for the Red Cross Disaster Fund. Again in 2010 another earthquake affected a country that plays host to a four deserts race. The Chilean earthquake of February 27 occurred just one week before the start of the Atacama crossing. Racing the planet and the community of competitors and friends raised US$15,000 for Habitat for Humanity in the weeks to follow. Racing the planet events, four desserts. The Four Desserts was recognized by Time magazine in 2009 and 2010 as the world's leading series of rough country endurance foot races. The 250-kilometer races take place over seven a days in six a stages. A campsite is raised each night for competitors where they are provided with a place in a tent to sleep, access to hot water, a campfire, medical assistance and a cyber tent, where they can view and send messages to family and friends and update their race blog. Competitors race from campsite to campsite each day through a series of checkpoints where they collect drinking water and can seek medical treatment. The results of the race are based on the cumulative time taken for the competitor to complete all the stages, and a competitor must successfully pass through every checkpoint in order to collect a finisher's medal. The Four Desert Series comprises the Atacama Crossing, the Gobi March, the Sahara Race and the Last Desert. If a competitor completes the series they gain membership to the Four Deserts Club. There are currently 87 members of the Four Deserts Club. The man and woman with the cumulative highest ranks across the four races at the finish line of each edition of the Last Desert is crowned the Four Deserts Champion. The 2010 Four Deserts Champions are Ryan Sands of South Africa and Maja Jana Peliza of Croatia. A new phenomenon was started by competitors in 2008 now called the Four Deserts Grand Slam. This refers to competitors attempting to complete all four of the races in a calendar year. Only nine competitors a Euro 6 men and three women a Euro have so far managed to complete the Four Deserts Grand Slam. Racing the Planet, the annual roving race is called Racing the Planet. It follows the same format as the Four Deserts events but moves to a different location every year. Spaniard Salvador Carvo Redondo has set a record by winning all three editions of Racing the Planet. Racing the Planet, Vietnam 2008, the first roving race took place in the far northwest of Vietnam. The event got underway in Si Ma Cai after an overnight train ride from Hanoi. Competitors faced a 100-kilometer course on stage one. Record floods and cold had hit the area turning the race into the greenest, muddiest and wettest to date. The area was full of hill tribes from the Flower Mong and the Red Dao to the Black Mong. Competitors stumbled upon a large festival at the last campsite. Statistics, date, February 2008, men's winner, Salvador Carvo Redondo, Spain, 28 hours, 17 minutes 50 seconds women's winner, Stephanie Case. USA, 32 hours 53 minutes 22 seconds, 54 competitors began the event, 47 competitors finished, and 20 countries were represented. Racing the Planet, Namibia 2009, the second race was in southern Namibia starting on the edge of the Fish River Canyon and ending in the town of Luderitz along the Skeleton Coast. The event featured specially built ladders to climb out of the Fish River Canyon the second deepest canyon in the world, and a 100-kilometer long march. Competitors spent their last night of the event on the Skeleton Coast, in an area which had been off-limits to visitors for many years. The champion was Spain's Salvador Redondo Carvo who handed South Africa's Ryan Sands, the previous Four Deserts champion, his only defeat in a Racing the Planet event, Ryan finished in second place. Famed Italian runner Marco Olmo finished third. 
Lucy Hilton of the United Kingdom won the women's division in a time of 29-17-45. The team division was won by an Israeli team. Blind athlete Kyung Tai Song of Korea finished last in a time of 78-21-40. The Namibia course is considered by those competitors who have completed the four deserts and the other roving races as the most challenging. Renowned British mountaineer and adventurer Annabelle Bond took part in the race. Statistics, date, May 2009, men's winner, Salvador Carvo Redondo, Spain, 25 hours 47 minutes 32 seconds women's winner, Lucy Hilton, United Kingdom, 29 hours, 17 minutes 45 seconds, 214 competitors began the event, 167 competitors finished, and 38 countries were represented. Racing the Planet, Australia 2010 the third edition of the roving race took place in Western Australia, in the Kimberley region between Kumunurra, the Gibb River Road, Emma Gorge and El Custro Wilderness Park. Permission was sought to enter and race across Aboriginal lands, as well as through El Custro's wilderness reserves. The logistical challenges of holding the race were many, including having to helicopter in all the equipment and water for one campsite that was completely inaccessible by any other way. Late flooding had meant that certain parts of the course had to change and the Gibb River Road was unpassable for certain stretches, again adding to the logistical challenges. The week before the race the Icelandic volcano eruptions ruined the travel plans of many European competitors, with a number unable to get to Australia. The climate was much more humid than many competitors were used to and a number of very experienced endurance athletes struggled with the conditions on stage one. Once again Salvador Carvo Redondo won every stage of the race. The number of hospital admissions of dehydrated participants lead to Western Australia police contacting Racing the Planet. Until the hospitalizations neither WA Health nor the WA Police had known about the event. Statistics, date, April 2010, men's winner, Salvador Carvo Redondo, Spain, 31 hours 25 minutes 006 women's winner, Leah Farley, United States, 32 hours, 34 minutes 18 seconds, 185 competitors began the event, 117 competitors finished, and 35 countries were represented. Racing the Planet, Australia 2011, competitors Kate Sanderson, Turia Pitt, Michael Hull and Sean Van der Meerwe were burned when they encountered a large wildfire. They were gravely injured. Kate Sanderson's injuries lead to the partial amputation of her left foot. The Western Australian government held an inquiry into the planning and actions of racing the planet. The inquiry into 2011 Kimberley Ultramarathon event was handed down to the WA Legislative Assembly on August 16, 2012. The inquiry found that the organisers were not legally liable or to blame for shocking burn injuries to competitors. However the report stated the company did not take all reasonable steps to maintain the safety of competitors, staff or volunteers. A spokesman for Racing the Planet said that while the fire and its consequences are tragic and regrettable they were not reasonably foreseeable. However, the inquiry found that the company was aware there had been fires in and around the course on the day of the race and should have recognized the risk posed to competitors, staff and volunteers. In addition it found the company did not adequately consult with relevant authorities such as St. John Ambulance, and did not make arrangements for the use of a helicopter. The report also found the company failed to test its communication system prior to the race. The 2011 Kimberley Ultramarathon was the subject of a parliamentary inquiry in Western Australia after a number of competitors suffered life-threatening burns when a bushfire overran a part of the route. Statistics, date. September 2011, men's winner, none, event abandoned women's winner, none, event abandoned, racing the planet, Nepal 2011, in 2011 the race took place in the Annapurna region of Nepal, outside the town of Pakara. This was the most mountainous of racing the planet's event so far, with a total elevation gain and loss over the course of 18,700 meters with the highest elevation that competitors reached being 3,200 meters. The course began at Mardi Colas and wound its way through the foothills of the Himalayas through Beni, Poon Hill, Biathanti and Begna's Lake. 
the local race director was Karma Sherpa, a three-time Everest summiter who helped set the course on tracks used for generations by local Nepalese farmers to reach their crops and water. Statistics, date, November 2011, men's winner, Ryan Sands, South Africa, 25 hours 15 minutes 25 seconds women's winner, Stephanie Case, Canada, 30 hours, 15 minutes 09 sex, 220 competitors began the event, 168 competitors finished, and 38 countries were represented. Racing the Planet, Jordan 2012, the roving race moved to Jordan in 2012, taking in the areas of Wadi Rum and finishing in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Petra. The course started in Wadi Rum and took competitors through four deserts world famous for being the area of operations of Lawrence of Arabia. The terrain was a varied landscape of canyons, cliffs, sand dunes, and gorges before finishing outside the treasury of Petra. The local manager and logistics team were members of the Bedouin community who have lived in the deserts for centuries. The race had the lowest retirement record of any Racing the Planet event with 92% of competitors finishing the race. Statistics, date, May 2012, men's winner, Paolo Barney, Italy, 27 hours 11 minutes 03 sex women's winner, Keisha Figni, Italy, 29 hours, 37 minutes 03 sex, 153 competitors began the event, 131 competitors finished, and 38 countries were represented. References External links, official website